All right, here's a tutorial on how to make a the analog series and parallel circuits. I'm going to go through, uh, make a quick series and partial parallel. So basically, this is multi-sim, and we've got some click-ons here, but basically what you're going to work on is over here. So I'm just going to go right to this. So if I click on this one, I want a power source. I want DC power. I want it looks like this. I click OK, and I put it here. It immediately opens this back up. So now I can go to basic and here are my resistors and I'm just going to pick some random ones here. So I'll pick this one and that one and a little bigger, not too much here. And then I've got everything I need right now. So I'm just going to click OK. OK and hit escape to make that one go away and click close because I don't want any more. This one I'm going to rotate. I can right click, rotate 90 degrees. Now I can build my circuit. I just go to the end of it. I click on it and you'll see a wire coming like that. I click. You'll be doing this a lot this year. And there's my circuit. Okay, this is the turn it on. I turn it on. Woohoo! Whoa, nothing's happening. Oh, that's right. I need some meters in here. No LEDs, no lights, or anything fancy. So, there is a over here. Well, in fact, let, here, let me hit escape. If you hover over these, you can see what they are multimeters and various things. We'll get to some of these. You could do this. This is more like what we did. I can put this here. Just to show you different ways of doing it. And when I turn it on, if I double click, it opens up and shows me that I got one volt running through that resistor. Um, but since I want you to, oh, I got turned off. You have to turn it off in order for it to do anything. So I wanted to delete it. Um, instead, we're going to use these other ones up here. If I go to click drop down and indicators, here you'll see an ammeter and a voltmeter. So I got a voltmeter selected. I click OK. And I put that right there. Actually, let me just get three of them. And actually, I'm going to bring in one ammeter so I can just do this all at once. And close that. So, and you can, I'm rolling my mouse wheel. I can highlight this whole thing and move it. Oops. Move it down a little bit because that was kind of close to... Where we were, I can hold my mouse wheel down, do that. All right, so here, remember I have to go around my resistors. Um, let me move my ammeter. You can see it's got the A, that's the ammeter, V is the voltmeter. And this one, again, I right click and rotate, just to make it a little cleaner. I guess you don't, wouldn't have to. Might be easier to see if you didn't, that's okay. And now when I turn it on, wait for it, there it is, okay, I got this one reversed, let's see, can I, um, so that's why it's negative, mm-hmm, and so, but if you add all those numbers up, they would add up to 12, okay, so that's the, that one, and then I just need to put this one in my circuit, so I delete that, I'm going to put that right here, here, And now when I turn it on, boom. And you could put one of these anywhere. I don't know if I can just drop it in there. Let's see. Well, I could do this. Here, here, and delete that. And you'll see that. Got that backwards. But that the current is the same everywhere. And here are my voltage drops around each one. So you would take this and uh, that would give you all of your readings. Okay? Um, it's going to do the other one right below it here. Let's do this. All right. So turn it off. Do a quick parallel. Um, sources. Any one of these, you can click a drop down and go to it. Power sources. DC power. 
Okay. And I need going to basic sisters. Four twelve. Okay. Um and actually, if I leave it like this, then I don't have to rotate anything, except I only have to rotate this. So I'm going to rotate this, which is up above it. If I click out here, it turns a corner. So I can go here. So every time you click your mouse, it will kind of pause there and let you change direction. So if I come out here a little ways, click. That way I can, I, it won't. You can kind of control, and you can't. I can't add, I can't go from here. I could go to place junction, control J, and click on that, and it puts a little dot there, which then allows me to click and go. A little extra bonus there for you. All right, so there is that. And now, actually I'm gonna bring, bring this whole thing out. Yeah, all right, bring it a little farther because what I want to do now is actually in here is to put in my ammeters and I'm going to do this so I'm going to click on this and just copy it. Paste. What is that? Control V. Ooh, control V. Alright, so I can put this in right here. Now that that's there, I can delete that and put this one here. Turn around. And those would all add up to my total current. Okay, oh, which in fact I would need to do if I put that right here. Turn it off. I got one more control V in me. Yes, I do. Again, if you bring it right up to it, it'll connect to it. So you can see that these three, this is my total current, and this is my individual currents. All right. And then um, if I then oh, turn it off. over a little bit because I need it won't connect I need to have some wire there in order to connect it that should give me 12 volts and it does just reverse but that should match that so I don't have to do any more of those you can pretty much see this is going to be the same everywhere I put it in here I'll just drag one out that's my total but if I I'd have to go around this. Never mind. Control V. Oh, lost my control V. Oh, it's not turned off. If you don't turn it off. And this is a little tricky here. Is tricky tricky and you can space this out more I'm just trying to get everything in here just to show you what's going on I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna come down and go below it just so that you can see that that too is 12 volts okay so you are going to build two series and two parallel circuits uh, and for each circuit you're going to build it like this you're gonna have for the parallel you'll have an ammeter into each leg of the parallel one and then also one ammeter up here so that I can see that the three individuals and they'll add up to the top one. And then for the parallel, you only have to put in one voltmeter because they're the same. And then for the series, you need to have a voltmeter at each here, 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 at each resistor. And then you need a, an ammeter in the circuit in the circuit to show what the total current is okay 
and that'll do it. And so you're going to do all that. And then what you would do is, I'll show you one of those, turn this off. If I highlight everything, that's going to be more than I need. But if I open up a Word document, and then I can paste it in here. Whoops, I didn't get the whole thing. Let me go back. get rid of some of this there now when I highlight the whole thing right click copy oh I forgot to copy it that was just my paste of the other thing now if I paste I get my circuit okay so you'll just paste uh, for these into a word document and upload that to canvas but uh, make sure that you've turned it on because I need to be able to see all of the numbers in the meters okay and that'll do it and no calculations at all how wonderful is that all right